Finally, after getting the thing you wanted, it wasn't as exciting as you thought, that it failed to satisfy your expectations. I remember an interview of Tom Brady after he had won his third Super Bowl, after he had achieved what many would love to have achieved. He said, there's got to be more than this. This can't be all that it's cracked up to be. As humans, we can feel empty or hollow, almost like there's something missing. I think that's why we try to fill our lives with things that we hope will satisfy us, things that we hope will fill our needs, wants, and desires. Things like bigger houses, job promotions, security, health, knowledge, beauty, relationships, Super Bowls, and hundreds of other things. These things show promise of satisfaction, but they only ever leave us wanting. And it's a sick cycle too. We think something will satisfy us, so we do everything we can to get it. And then once we get it, we realize that it didn't actually fill us. And so we move on to the next thing and repeat the process over and over again. But here's what we need to remember. Our deepest longings are only satisfied in Jesus. Listen to what Jesus does for us in 1 Peter 1, 9 through 10. It says, but you are not like that. For you are a chosen people, you are royal priests, a holy nation, God's very own possession. As a result, you can show others the goodness of God, for he called you out of the darkness into his wonderful light. Once you had no identity as a people, now you are God's people. Once you received no mercy, now you have received God's mercy. When we long for meaning, Jesus gives us purpose. When we want to be known, Jesus gives us a place. When we're tired and weak, Jesus gives us power. When we wish we knew who we are, Jesus gives us identity. Jesus gives us everything that we need. He is our only satisfaction. But the only way that Jesus can be that satisfaction is if we put him first. Jesus is not one of many things competing for our attention. He should be first of all. So think about your life. Have you been chasing after things that keep leaving you empty? Is God first and foremost in your life, or have you allowed your desires and longings to pull you away from the one who gives you everything you need? Before the end of the day, 
Spend some time taking inventory of your life and even pray through this passage, asking God to satisfy you and help you always look to him. Father, we ask that, that you would just be with us today. We ask that you would just satisfy our longings, knowing that whatever we chase after, whatever we pursue in this world, it's, it's not going to fill us. Lord, that only you can satisfy our desires, our wants, and our needs. So Lord, today I pray that we would put you first, knowing that you will take care of everything else. Lord, help us to look to you today and every day. It's in Jesus' name I pray. Amen.